I don't know how to start this video, so I'll just go. A lot of you know this story. Some of you might know this story. I quit my job almost four years ago. It was a good one. F&B director at a casino in St. Louis, Missouri. I got to the point where I was miserable doing what I was doing. I'll get into that in a minute. But I want to give some props and say why I'm never going back to a nine to five. Dodash. I saw your video and I've been seeing others talking about why they quit, what they're working on, why they're happy, why they're sad. It's weird what the algorithm on YouTube shows you. Shout out to Dodash. Look her up. This is where I got the inspiration for this video. I quit four years ago and I started the whole bet on you set goals one day at a time. I was a restaurant F&B director at a casino. Before that, I worked at Applebee's, did some restaurant consulting for a small time in my life. My first job was Finish Line. My second job was Kids Are Us slash Toys Are Us. I haven't had a lot of jobs in my life. I'm 42. Why I will never go back to a nine to five. Before we get into that, let's talk about why I left a casino. Obviously, the pandemic happened. I was furloughed. Not laid off, but furloughed. Furlough is basically, hey, we're going to put you on pause. We'll decide if we want to bring you back. Let's see what happens. It was crazy times. I was lucky enough and grateful after a few months. We decided the casino was going to open back up. I was one of two F&B management people that came back. People that were my boss when we got furloughed didn't even come back, but I came back. It's a weird situation. I was happy to be back, happy to get back to making my money. In the meantime, I was doing deliveries, which is what I do currently. We'll get to that in a minute. But I went back and I had to work. I mean, work. The amount of things we had to do with the casino to stay open, clean, throw things away, bring staff back. I had to call hundreds of people and give them bad news about them not coming back and what was happening. We had to call people back to see who wanted to come back. Some people did, some people didn't. It was stressful, but that's part of the job. You get paid to do that. It's part of the job. As the casino started to get opened back up, it was a new normal. How we had the mask mandate and six feet and at a casino, we have a lot of old people and you have to protect them. The county was up our behinds. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy times. Then we started to bring more management back. I was part of the process of the, being a decision maker on doing those kind of things. And it felt good to bring people back to work. My direct boss was the general manager of the casino, the, the GM of the entire casino. And he was a good guy. We saw eye to eye on most things. But there were some things that I was either being asked to do or that I didn't agree with that rubbed me the wrong way. And I, can, I, I kept asking myself, how long am I going to continue to work these crazy hours, most holidays? I mean, I was working my mind, my body. It took my soul. I have type 1 diabetes. There were days I was walking 30,000 steps. If you know how many miles that is, look it up. And that was regular for me because I was bouncing all over these outlets that we had to manage it. It was insane. My health wasn't good. I wasn't eating on a regular schedule. It was not, it became a stressor. It became, I started to hate it. Now I was doing the DoorDash and Uber while I was furloughed and even actually before that part-time. And I told myself, am I gonna continue to stay and work at a place where I'm not happy, that I hate it? I love some of the people, but the actual processes and practices, I did not enjoy. They weren't aligned with my moral compass. And it wasn't like I was making a crazy amount of money. I was making a good salary, bonus potential. It was good. It was better than what most of people are making, I'm sure, at that time. That, that you know, it was well above the American average. But I hated it. And I don't like to do things I don't like to do. So I quit. And I said, I guess I'll do food delivery for a year and see where it takes me. So I did that. It was pretty lucrative. DoorDash, it's doing Uber, did Postmates, no longer do that. Signed up for Instacart about a year, year and a half after. And it's okay. And now I got a few other apps. But I'm never going back to a nine to five. Because once you do this kind of work, which I also sometimes do not like, but it's a job. 
But once you can set your own schedule and not work weekends if you don't want to, once you can learn your marketplace in whatever gig that you're doing, whatever line of work that you're trading your time for money, once you have that new sense of balance, how could I ever go back to a nine to five? Now listen, everybody has a boss. Everybody has a boss. My boss right now isn't the apps I work for, it's the customer. There's some guidelines you gotta do with the apps, very easy. But to go back to a nine to five and have somebody else tell me what I'm worth and have less control, I'm not going back to that. Would you go back to that? Have you gone back to that? Now I have a family to provide for and we do okay. And if things happen, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna put myself in a position to hate what I do. No, I might not like what I do right now all the time, but I love the flexibility, the freedoms. I love being able to make my own way. I like, there's something about the unknown of each day. Is it gonna be good, is it gonna be bad? I make 250 bucks a day, it's five o'clock. I started at 10, it's not bad. Every day might not be like that, but that can be pretty normal if you put forth the effort. Nine to fives, a lot of people are leaving them for various reasons. Some for the right reasons, maybe some for wrong reasons. Do I recommend doing food delivery full time? No, I do not. It's not for everybody, but I knew me. I knew I could hustle, I knew I had a good work ethic and I knew if I could spin this eventually into some YouTube stuff, two, three streams of income, then it's worth it. I will never go back to a nine to five. That nine to five mentality can be beneficial for obviously most Americans, but for some, no more. The way these companies treat employees, salary management, middle management, even up on the upper tier, it's bad. Now the companies that work for any gig apps, they don't treat us any better sometimes, but we still have more control than if you're at a W-2. Now, let me add one more thing to this story. But before I do that, I appreciate maybe some of you new people that come to watch these nine to five videos are here. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing. I wanted to save the most important reason maybe for the end. When I was working at a restaurant, managing them, multiple, multiple units, one unit, whatever, two units, there was a lot of joy in it when you can see, see other people that you hire and you train, you see them have success, you see them get promoted, you see a high school, college kid or whatever, reach their goals and they're serving tables or they're doing this and it's fantastic. I've met a lot of great people in my day when I was managing them and working beside them, management people and associates. But working a nine to five can suck the soul out of you, especially in the restaurant business. If you know, you know. It can really put a put a beating on your body and your mind and, and your soul. And it did that to me. While this kind of work isn't always glamorous, I mean, here's my bags in the back, as you can see, and I, I deliver food and partials and this and that for a living. And it's not always fun. I do it on my time. I do it on my time. And I'm able to provide for my family and spend a significant more time with my family than I did when I was working in the restaurant industry. You cannot put a price on that. You just can't. Happiness is something we're all searching for. We're all trying to find that balance. We're trying to find this. And hopefully you find a job that aligns with that. And it's not always going to be great, but you want to have more wins than losses. I have more wins in the gig economy than I do losses. And when I was the last year or so working in, at the casino restaurant managing, whoo, I had losses. I'd go into work and pull in and be like, man, I don't want to be here today. And the more and more I told myself that, I said, I need to, I need to do something so that I don't feel like that. Has your nine to five sucked your, sucked the soul out of you? Was it, was it beneficial in any way? Did you have control? Did you feel good about it? Did you leave it? Or are you still there? Let me know in the comment section down below. But this is my story why I am never going back to a nine to five. And while I might not always love what I do right now, it's better than what I was doing before. Have a great day.
If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.